Hi, Renee Matt here with Friendly Beauty and I look a little funky right now but I'm going to show you how to get these curls or waves on this side which is very flat and boring right now. Um, so I have half of it clipped up and I'm just doing very um, big chunky kind of random pieces throughout so you'll notice that I don't like section everything very perfectly. You can section everything perfectly and you can also do shorter um, shorter sections and shorter layers which will get it fuller and um, lots more curls but I'm just doing it quick. So I am, I have this half here and sometimes on this side I don't generally start in the front and then I move to the, my way back and then on this side I start in the back and move my way to the front. So you can do it however you want. But I have this big section here, so I'm just gonna take a chunk, and as I said, I'm doing it kind of randomly. And I don't want a ton, so depending on how thick your hair is, um, you might wanna grab a smaller section or you could grab, grab a bigger section, but you just want a little chunk here. The smaller the section, the better it's going to hold curl. Um, bigger chunks are gonna be a looser curl. So I'm just twisting it, and I'm twisting it towards my face, and then I'm taking, I have a one inch wand here. I'm taking my wand upside down and then I'm going to wrap it and keep it twisted as I wrap it around. And then I'm keeping this like tail end out. <clears throat> it's about an inch and a half. Um, and I'm keeping this out because I don't want the ends curled. Now these, and then as I drop it out, I'm gonna hold it in my hand let it set for a little bit to let it cool a little. That'll help keep the curl um, holding in your hair. So I'm using the, shoot, I forgot the Anjule wand, I think it's what it's called, from Lange. I don't know if they have this one anymore. It's just a single, single temperature, like you can't control the temperature on it. They have some that you can control the temperature, um, but this one was cheap. Uh, so I am just going to drop that curl and let it set. Um, so I already have a heat protectant in my hair as well. I put some like leave-in conditioner in it after a shower and then I let it air dry um, in the evening and then I just went to bed with it and let it try and con continue air drying but I have a lot of hair so when I got up in the morning it was still kind of damp and then at that point I sprayed uh, a heat protectant in it and then I finished with blow drying. So you always want to make sure you're using a heat protectant of some kind if you're using heat on your hair. And so with the Lange products, when you buy these wands, they actually come with a heat um, protecting glove so you don't burn yourself. So if you're learning how to use a wand, I would suggest using that glove because even sometimes I randomly just kind of stop paying attention to what I'm doing and I'll burn myself. <laughs> um, so pay attention to what you're doing when you're curling. All right, and as I'm getting closer, to the front. You wanna make sure they're combed through too because if you have knots in your hair and if your hair is really snarly, actually grab a comb and comb it through because if you have knots in your hair and then you put the iron on, it's just gonna like set it in that knot and it's it's not gonna look pretty. It'll, it'll look a little funky and kinked. You don't want kinky hair unless it's a natural kink. Then it's pretty, but when it's a random knotted kink, not so much. When it's the hairs by your front of your face, you don't usually need to hold them as long because it's a lot more fragile. Plus, I don't like, I guess it depends on how you like it. I don't like it where it's a super strong curl right at my face. 
So I generally tend to like these top ones. I'll show you up here. Those top ones, I usually pull it out further and then I don't let it sit as long. Or if I do let it sit, then I kind of pull it out usually. So now this... And again, I'm just going all away from my face and then cup it to cool. Now, if you <clears throat> have hair that does not hold curl very well, you are for sure going to want to cup it to hold it. You could also, as you pull it out, I'll show you a second here. You could grab some bobby pins or hair pins of some kind. And have them on hand so then when you curl you can take it out super carefully and you'll be able to clip it and then let it cool completely so as you do it you would just go like this and then you there's like this hole here because of the iron so you would just take it and you would take that like little barrel curl and then you would just took a bobby pin right in there and hold it there. And then you would just let it sit and you'd keep moving on. So you'd end up with all these little curls all over your head, but it would be a good way to set the curl and let it cool completely before taking them down. And that will help your hair hold the curl a lot better. As well as using product. Product makes a huge difference. So some of my favorite products that I've been using right now, um, I love using a hair serum after I'm done because I get really, like I need a haircut super bad right now, um, but I get really dry ends. And so when, I ha when that happens, um, I like to use a serum to help smooth those ends and make it look shinier and healthier and kind of tame those down. So my favorite one right now is the Lange Satin, Nour Satin Nectar Nourishing Gloss. Um, you just need a tiny bit and you can put it in the end. But my sister is a consultant for Lemongrass Spa and they actually have a beard oil. It's unscented um, and that is really awesome for the ends of your hair too. So either one of those I definitely recommend. And they would be in, the links for both of them would be in my favorites. So if you go to the link in my bio and hit shop my faves, um, or shop my favorites, I can't remember how I have it written in there, but you'll see it. And then there's a list of products that I have mentioned um, that I love using um, or I've had a really good experience with. So um, you can find the links to both of those there. All right, so we're getting up to the this front section here, and this is where I'm gonna kind of angle it towards my face here. So I'm gonna take this section, just like normal, and bring it out. But this one, because it's my face, I don't want it to have this like crazy curl right in my face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to twist it and then I'm going to wrap it further down and then I'm gonna pull and go beside my face. So that'll help swoop it over to the side a lot more. And then when I drop it down, I'm gonna actually kind of pull it a little bit so that it's not like boop. And then when I loosen it, it'll it'll wave better. Trust me on this. So I'm just gonna let it curl. Or not curl, cool. Um, 
Um, so while this side's cooling, this side is already cool. So I am just going to run my fingers through it. And you can also tip your head upside down. Now I'm gonna keep some of the curl pieces. <clears throat> if you wanted it to just be a wave right now, you could actually take a brush and brush it through. Once it's all completely cooled, you could take a brush and brush it through, and then that would just give you that wave. But I'll probably wear it like this for a couple of days. So I'll let that wave settle in on its own. I always have hair coming out. My poor husband. <laughs> All right. As I mentioned, you could flip your hair upside down as well. And that is how you get the curls. They are bouncy and a little bit funky. You can add some volume. I'm going to put some makeup on. <laughs> and then you've got your hairstyle. Super quick, super easy. They will last for days and you're good to go. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you next time.